Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving yourself, you know, trying to get through these crazy moments, you know, because a lot of us have been activated and we're feeling so many things more intensely than we usually do. So I'm sending uplifting vibes towards your way to really get through this trying time. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, um, if you are, are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you just love telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if uh, you feel like the video is very, very informative to you or just give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or just a fellow empath that's really going through some trying times right now, go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like it. Also, share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And... Hope you're having a good weekend. Today, my, uh, let me turn, I don't, I hope this is not going to mess with anybody's, uh, vibrations because it's, um, the stimulation is going really fast in my, my forehead area. Um, it's called 10,000 Hertz of Instant Third Eye Stimulation Morning, 100% Powerful Third Eye Binarial Beats. I love binarial beats. Um, and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Twin Flames manifesting something very powerful between one another. Yes, y'all, uh, I was like, I asked Universe what things they want to talk about, um, and they're just like, just go with the flow, just tell them this, tell them that, you need to, you know, let them know the things that are better yet to come. And it's just like, if you're going through, uh, situations with your Twin Flame, knowing things might be really hard right now because where both the divine feminine and divine masculine are reflecting on a lot of things that they need to improve within themselves. Um, if they want to go closer in union, um, they're healing in many different ways. And, you know, you're showing support towards each other, you know, because it's like a lot of times it was really hard for me to be able to communicate with my dad because it was a lot easier for me when I was younger because I was like empath, like on on 10,000 basically because it just seems like when you're a child and your empath is more you're more open and receptive towards things and it was just like it had me thinking about everything that I've been through with my dad which was so touching but it's just like your twin allows you makes you want to be a better person you want to be able to have that that good relationship that good connection um being communicate uh, you know having you know being able to communicate with one another without it being so much friction um if you're heading towards like uh what is it union well i forgot the word y'all was trying to say uh just with union knowing that a lot of y'all are going through a lot of like situations where you might feel like you're about to lose your twin but then it's like a push and pull situation because y'all are both going through the same thing at the same time and it's just like well my dad is totally different because it's just the fact of him not being here anymore um in a different form is it's allowing me to be stronger to even know that i'm not able to have that physical reunion but it's like we're becoming one it's like really crazy like my dad has this mole on the uh on the left side of his face and I have one as well as you can see and it's starting to get bigger and I'm just like oh my gosh and I know this is with my daughter my my baby girl she looks just like my dad at, when he was 18 she's 18 as well and it's just like so crazy like even if I don't be able to see him in the physical it's like I'm seeing a mirror image not just through me but through my daughter as well and then sometimes I get very emotional because it's very beautiful um it's just like we're manifesting love that is stronger than anything. It's just really hard to describe this feeling that you have had. You know, I don't know if you're going through the same thing. I want y'all to drop me a line and let me know that you're feeling the same way. Because it, it, it's just when you 
you feel that union or feel that connection with them it makes you very emotional and it's just like you will fight for the end of the earth for this to be able to have that connection when you have that beautiful connection with you because it's like with my dad is very unique to me because he's like nobody can't get it like us baby nobody can't get it like us you know he just you know he is just very vocal about that and it's just like it's like a one of a kind thing he says it's very one of a kind and it's very different because it's just i went through so much of pain and everything it was like really hard for me to deal with you know losing my father not being able to have that physical connection but knowing he's always with me he always told me Rosalind stop saying that baby stop saying I don't know why I keep saying Rosalind but he doesn't never call me by my name is he feels weird calling me by that but um if it's just to get my attention that's the only time he'll ever call me that but it's just like it he, he allows me to know that even though he might be in a different form, he's always with me. So it's just like I'm starting to look more and more like him every day. Or I start doing a lot of his facial, you know, uh, facial, you know, looks that he does. I was just like, why is this getting so intense? Or like I can watch a video of his and I notice our face will move, you know, at the same time. Like the same, same certain, you know, phrase or, or just like a certain look that we'll have around the same time. And it's like really weird. But it's like, you know, we're, for us being twin flames, we're working on ourselves to be that best version of ourselves, being able to want that, that strong connection with your twin flame. You know, if, you know, if that's a beautiful thing when you can be able to recognize your twin flame, a lot of people are starting to know that they're a twin. So they're trying to figure out, you know, have I connected with this person before? And if you, you're just now finding out you're a twin uh, of a twin flame, you have had that connection before. You will probably have daydreams um dreams about that person y'all you know because it's just like that strong sense of togetherness is that longing to be, see your other half and it was like at first with me I always I was the runner so it was like the 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 vibrations that my dad has sent off you know anybody who's ever came in contact with my dad know he has these vibes you're like what the hell is that <laughs> you know he's, he's very powerful so it, it's just like very weird but then it's just like it's made me comfortable and i'm like i'm no longer scared anymore you know i don't know why i was scared in the first place because i know he would never hurt me but it was just like a very weird vibe and i guess it was just because he told me that i see him like other people see him and that he told me to stop doing that you know it's just like we're on a different vibe than that so you can't be like everybody else like that but it's just like i don't know it was just a really crazy you know vibe that he gave off and it's very powerful so it's just like I, I let those guards down so if it's just like you're going through your situation with your twin flame knowing that y'all are manifesting something very powerful because it's like you know that i know universe wanted me to do this video i said well you know when it comes to twin flames it's hard to subscribe the things that you're going through especially when it comes to the vibrations the connections you know things are getting very powerful between y'all you know you get very emotional but it's a beautiful emotion not anything sad but it's like you know that you will run to the end of the earth and do what you need to do to be with this connection so you can be able to come into union so you're working more on yourself you know that you're willing to give up things that is hindering you from that from that connection you know only thing that's stopping you we always figure that oh is this is stopping us is that the stopping us no it's actually you as in yourself now i had to picture that for myself as well um you know because i kept on saying even though there was people trying to come in between our connection i was allowing that to happen you know if a love when it comes to your twin flame that love will never fade away and sometimes you know if it does happen i don't know because i've never been through that but um there's things that you're going to try to enhance about yourself as well as you know you, you might have a question are they doing the same thing yes they are they are going through the same thing they are working on themselves to better themselves for them to be able to get in co this connection with you as well being in that union because as much as you want it they want it too so it's just you're manifesting these things and you're going about them in a totally different way than you have before you're manifesting things so you can get closer towards that union um you're feeling that love you can feel that strength of your bond with them as well uh, i know with me and my dad is just like our bond is so tight like nobody can break that you know won't, he won't allow it and i won't allow it so it's just like knowing that we're going through these things and it's just like the love that you feel for that person is so powerful that you're willing to 
do those self improvements. You'll, you're able to enhance these things for yourself because you're manifesting so much. Even when you feel like you're obsessing about that person, you know, it's like universe is not going to allow you to do that. But it's just like there's times that, you know, during your dark times, you feel like, oh, I'm going to lose this person. You have to get that out your head because you're not going to lose them. When it's meant for it to happen, it's going to happen. If it's meant for you and all the signs are showing you that it's going to happen, you know, it will. You just have to be able to do your part as they're doing theirs so you can go through this union. So I hope you are able to. You know, this gives you some kind of validation because I know a lot of y'all are trying to go through union. A lot of y'all have, but you're trying to improve, improve your relationship so it can stay strong. You're trying to get that, you know, that foundation where, you know, nothing can tear y'all apart. So I hope you're able to get confirmation or validation that, yes, you're going through this, but things are going to be in union but it will be when you least expect it. I know there's something that's big is coming towards a lot of us empaths, or there's something big coming towards the world that a lot of us empaths and twin flames are all in, you know, connection towards this. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. Give out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. I just seen 1111 when I said that. Um, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And um, my post notification shout out goes to Zoo Scott, um, Diamond King, Passive Restraint Productions, and Darian Krause. Much love to you as well. And I, um, I'm sending out as much love and light and positivity as well towards your way. And I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible in everything you do. And get turned up. You know, this is the weekend. You're supposed to be able to cut loose and relax and let your hair down. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace to you, and be wild.